Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Member Vault. Member Vault is an online course building platform that allows its users to not only build online courses but you can also offer membership sites or if you would like a platform to build a coaching program, Member Vault may be for you. It is very similar to Thinkific or Teachable and it also offers a 14 day free trial period and in the future if you like their platform you can also go up to their paid plan their most expensive package is for $99 per month as you can see right here and the basic plan starts off at $19 per month but we'll be getting started with their 14 day free trial period which does not require a credit card or anything like that to sign up once you have tapped on start your 14 day free trial period, you'll be prompt to enter your email address and some basic information. After you have done that, you will be redirected to a dashboard, just like this, as you can see right here. Now to start creating your course, all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option. And from there, you can tap right where you see content. So let's do that real quick. After you have tapped on content, I want you to tap on add product. Once you have tapped on add product, you can choose the status, whether you like it to be active, inactive, invisible, or archived. I'm going to be leaving it as active. After you have done that, you can also choose the type, whether you want it to be no time or order force or time drip modules, meaning that it will be released on different days after sign up or you can set it as progressive, meaning modules and lessons must be completed in order to progress. So you can set it up with whichever plan that you would want. Then you're going to enter in your product name. So I'll simply name this test just for example sake. Then I'm going to tap on add product. Once you have tapped on add product, you'll be redirected to a new dashboard so you can see right here, you'll now be able to add your product module. But before doing that, let's scroll down. If you would like to add a this product description, you can do that right here. This will prove to attract people or give them an idea of what your product or your course offers. You can also add a thumbnail by simply tapping right here, change image. You'll be able to upload your product thumbnail. And also, if you would like to offer sign up options, you can do that right here by simply tapping here. You could tap on link, provide URL for sign up sales page, or you can provide a form. So you could tap on form right there and you can see they provide you with a sample form that you can offer as you can see right here. And if we were to tap on link, you can see right there, the link is provided also. And you can scroll down if you'd like to provide a promo code. You can also do that as you can see right there. So Member Vault is very beginner friendly and they do provide you with numerous features. But now, how to create your course? The first thing you're going to do is tap on Add Module. Once you have tapped on Add Module, you'll be redirected to this platform. And you'll select Module Type. And you can select module, teaser module, or bonus module. I'll be leaving it at module. Then you are going to enter your module name. So I'll name this first. Then I'm going to tap on add module. So let's do that real quick. Once you have tapped on add module, this module has no lessons. So I'm going to be adding the lessons. So let's do that. I'll tap on add lesson. After you have tapped on add lesson, you can enter your first lesson name. So let's say for example, YouTube. After you have done that, you're going to tap on add lesson. And just give it a few seconds. Then from there, you can choose the content type. For example, you can see video type and you'll tap on none. Or you can choose whether you'd like to integrate YouTube videos and you could simply paste in the YouTube link right there. 
or whether you would like to add a Muse or a Vimeo, Vimeo, you can set it right there. It all depends on what type of video you would like to paste the link for right there. And you can also add text and you can enable comments. So for example, if you'd like to enable comments, you'll tap right here and you'll select yes, which will allow your users to add a comment. And if you'd like to add text to your lesson, you can type out the text that you'd like to add right here. Also, if you would like to set up homework, for example, for each module that they complete, you can set up the homework section right here. So you could type out the questions that you would like to ask right here. If it is a case that you would like to add a video, you can also add video by tapping on insert media right here if you want. You can also scroll down if you would like to provide lesson files, you can do that. Or if it is a case that you would like to ask quiz questions, you can do that by tapping on add questions at the bottom of the page. After you have tapped on add questions, you can select the question type, whether it is essay type or multiple choice. Then from there, you could type in the questions that you want, as you can see right there. Another thing that you can also do after you have created your module or your products, you could go over to the left hand menu option. And from there, you could tap on pages and you can add different pages. So if you'd, for example, like to create a blog, you can do that. You can create blog posts using Member Vault also, as you can see right here. And you can keep track of your members by tapping on members from the left hand menu option. So for example, you'll be able to see all of your members list. You can also import them if you want. And you can also set up different admins if you want or different actions if you want by tapping on actions right here. Then you could tap on add action and you can set up different actions if you want. Also, if you would like to create an affiliate program, meaning that you'll be able to provide persons with a link which they can use to promote your course so you can give them a commission and you'll be able to advertise your product even more. You could tap on affiliates right here. After you have tapped on affiliates, you can see right here. So you can see your product name and status and you can also see your product. We're going to tap right where you see action. Let's do that real quick. After you have done that, all you'll need to do right where you see status, you'll need to tap on active. Then you can also choose the payout type, whether it is a percentage that you'd like to offer or a fixed amount, you can select whichever option you like. After you have done that, you can enter in the percentage. If it is a percentage, if it is a fixed amount, you could enter it right there. You can also choose the currency that you'd like to offer. Once you have done all of that, so let's say for example, fixed amount, $5 just for example sake, then I'll tap on save right here. Now that you have set your payout, you'll now be able to provide an affiliate link to persons. But first, let's go back to content. We're going to be completing our first content right here, or better yet, our first course. So you'll simply go right here and you could tap on the pencil to continue editing. And from there, you'll be able to add more modules if you want. Once you have added more modules, all you'll need to do now, you could tap on the settings cog right there. After you have tapped on the settings cog, you'll be able to preview your module by tapping on preview module and you'll be able to see how it looks. And you can also see that Member Vault provides you with a free URL as you can see right there. So you can see the module name and you can see posts and you can also see the completion rate as you can see right there. Now that I've shown you how to create your first course, let's show you how to edit the appearance of it. So by going over to the left hand menu option, you could tap on appearance. Then from there, you can add your logo if you want and you can also add a Firecon. You can also edit the colors of your course by changing the background colors or text color if you want. And you can also edit how the welcome area looks by simply going over to the left hand menu option, you could tap on welcome area. 
And then from there, you can edit the text and how the first page looks, as you can see right here. And you can see a preview of how it looks at the bottom. And you can edit everything at the top. You can also change the announcement bar. You can also edit the navigation and you can also edit the footer section. Once you have done all of that, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option once more. And from there, you could tap on settings. After you have tapped on settings, if you would like to change anything or if you would like to remove the leaderboard, you can do that as you can see right there. And if you'd like to add a custom domain name, you can also do that. But before going any further, you'll need to set up your payment method. And to do that, you're going to tap on integrations. Then from there, you could tap on payment and you will now be able to add PayPal. So you can scroll down right here and you will need to set up a business PayPal account. Then you could add in your API username and API password and signature and you'll be able to save your PayPal settings. As you can see, you'll need a PayPal business account. So you can click here to get started. And that's basically it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. And as you see, you can also connect Stripe right here if you want. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to use or how to set up Member Vault.